I mean, wow. Did people miss the rally, James? I think a lot of investors did. Um, but, you know, the way that we've been on your show talking about it is that during times of economic uncertainty, the money will ultimately go where there is the highest degree of confidence in the sustainability of the growth curves. What we saw in the first half of this year was a big questioning of that sustainability as growth rates came down because so much demand was pulled forward. But I think what got missed was that, yes, demand was pulled forward, but they, uh, growth rates simply just reverted back to their original pre-COVID growth curves, and they are here to stay for the best-in-class companies, for the cloud-first companies, for the true platforms uh, of, the, of the tech world. We think that the opportunity continues to remain bright, and we continue to be very long and bullish. Would you be a buyer of Meta of Facebook here, James? Meta is actually one that uh, we're uh, going to possibly revisit as we get closer to the end of the year. Once you fully anniversary the, the Apple privacy changes, um, obviously it looks interesting at a lower valuation. But right now, it's, it's certainly not anywhere near the top of the list for companies that we want to own. But Spotify and Uber, those are names. If people want to say, OK, what are some names that still right. could have you know, near-term runway, um, though right. they're down, I think, about 40 and 20 percent respectively still from January. Sure. I mean, we basically put it into three buckets, short, medium, and long term. Because right now, the name of the game for any investor is duration management. And you have to be so agile with the duration of your portfolio because macro factors can change in a, in a split second. So with that said, you know, looking at the short term on a risk-adjusted basis, we really like Amazon. We've talked about that on your show. Still see that as a $225 stock, at least. In the medium term, we like the cloud-first companies, like the crowd strikes, like the snowflakes. And then longer term, we think that the Uber, Spot, Airbnb, these are companies that can we own uh, in our portfolio, uh, very confident in them, can at least triple from the current levels. Um, obviously, we have the macro recession overhang um, that we continue to monitor and you have to be cognizant of. But that being said, you know those stocks that you just mentioned that have gotten depressed the most, you have the room for multiple expansion and I think earnings power that's fully not being given credit for right now in the market.